In this video, we will follow the digestion of starch from the mouth through to the small intestine. Physical digestion of starch begins in the mouth as the starch is chewed, breaking down the starch into smaller pieces. The physical digestion of starch is important to create more surface area for the digestive enzymes to work on. Saliva is secreted from the salivary glands into the mouth and combines with starch to both moisten the food for ease of swallowing and to add the digestive enzyme salivary amylase to the bolus of food. Salivary amylase functions best at a pH of 7 and chemically digests starch to maltose. The bolus of food is then swallowed and passes through the esophagus past the cardiac sphincter into the stomach where gastric juices are added and the bolus is churned by peristalsis. The bolus of food is now referred to as acidic chyme, which is secreted into the small intestine through the pyloric sphincter. Enzymes in the small intestine function optimally at a pH of about 8.5, so the acidic chyme entering the small intestine must be buffered. The pancreas secretes a buffer called sodium bicarbonate into the small intestine to buffer the acidic chyme from a pH of about 2 to a pH of around 8.5. As not all of the starch will have been chemically digested in the mouth, some will get through to the small intestine. As a result, a second enzyme called pancreatic amylase is secreted from the pancreas into the small intestine to digest the remaining starch to maltose. The walls of the small intestine will then secrete an enzyme called maltase which digests maltose into two glucose molecules. The glucose molecules are now small enough to be absorbed directly into the bloodstream through the capillary network of the microvilli that line the walls of the small intestine. So to quickly recap, both the physical and chemical digestion of starch begins in the mouth. Salivary amylase is secreted into the mouth from the salivary glands and digests starch to maltose. In the small intestine, pancreatic amylase is secreted into the small intestine from the pancreas to digest any remaining starch to maltose. The glands in the small intestine then secrete the enzyme maltase into the small intestine and digest maltose into two glucose molecules. And finally, the glucose is absorbed directly into the bloodstream through the capillary network of the microvilli in the small intestine.